Alright guys, this is this is the last video I'm making to uh, show you guys a fix and problems that people have been having for Fortnite. We all play a lot of Fortnite and we have this issue right here where you get this black screen after the 4.0 .0 update. So let's see what's going on. This is two videos I uploaded with my phone. I really didn't think people would uh, need help fixing this problem, but I guess a lot of you did. Um, I get a lot of comments saying like, you know, like it doesn't work, I have Windows 7, um, what should I do, do you have other fixes? Uh, I showed you two, I, sh I can go over this right now. This one right here, the easiest thing to do is literally just make sure that um, you guys have, you know, check your Windows first, what do you gotta do? Press PC, type PC, and then right click, go to properties. Alright, so if you look here, I have, this is how you look if you have Windows 10, um, I have Windows 10 Home and, and then you go down to, uh, let me see, right here, it says 64-bit, so now I know I have 64-bit and uh, my Windows is 10 and, so I'll go to Windows 10 and, right here you should say, basically press that, um, this right here, you could pick whatever. I I I picked this one and then I picked this one too. I mean, they both worked for me. But try both of them. Try this one first if you want and try that one. Doesn't matter, whatever. Uh after you pick whatever you pick, then go here, press English. Right? And then like I showed you, you got to check if you have 64. If you have 64 and you press 32, I promise you, it won't work, okay? So make sure you literally know what, which which one do you have before you press that. Right? That's that's one thing. I mean, I already showed you this, but I'm just going over it again. The other thing that I showed you guys. So Alright, guys, this is how you fix it. Right here. Um, you know, just by pressing. You can watch the video again if you want. And a lot of you said, you know, it doesn't have sound. That's, of course, it, don't, it doesn't have sound because you don't have the, because of the cinematic. And the other fix I learned from someone in the comment. What you can do is you can literally find a friend that you know, uh, that could uh, that you trust. Basically, you don't want to just give your account info to anyone, or a brother, or anyone that plays and you know them. Have them log into your account, to your Epic account, and then um, have them log in, sign out, have them log in, and then they can launch a game if their game is working. And then skip the cinematic. That's the problem we're having. Is the cinematic right there? Then if they skip it, once you log in and launch your game, you won't have that problem. Okay. So it, I know a lot of people. It worked for them. These are three fixes. I'm pretty sure um, Epic is gonna have something uh, they're gonna work on. Um, but these are the main three fixes for now, right? And if you have Windows 7, I recommend you. To upgrade, I know you probably don't want to upgrade. What you could do is, uh, um, you could say uh, Windows and Windows 10. Let's see. Mm. If you go to Windows 10 Reddit. You could find like very cheap Windows keys. I mean, if you want to do that, you could do that. But um, you know, you can upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10, and I bought mine. I don't, I don't know. I forgot how much I bought mine. And then you could upload the uh, the these packets I showed you in the other videos, and then you should be fine, guys. That's all I have for now. I mean, I'm sorry if it's, the game doesn't work for you, but you know, I recommend that you guys follow all the steps. If it doesn't work, then I would say just wait until Fortnite do something about it. There's a lot of people having this issue, so I hope Fortnite works so hard to get this thing done with. Because, you know, it's season 4 and it was hyped and everyone wants to play it. Um, other than that, guys, uh, you know, if you like the video, just like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, man. Good luck, guys.